So if you're a rallying fan of any type, then you'll know what the WRC is, the World Rally Championship, to some people known as the hardest motorsport and most demanding motorsport in the world, dashing past trees and kicking up sand at every point. In my opinion, it's one of the best sports around. Now, today I'm going to give you my impressions and opinions on the WRC 7 game. One thing to note about this game is that it stands alone on its own title. The creators of the game are not trying to beat such titles as Formula 1 or Forza 7. This is more like a time trial game. No other cars on the track, no wheel to wheel, just pure stage rally fun, which we all love to do. The textures of the game is brilliant. All of the bits of the detail that you would normally see on the actual stage is there in the game. Every bump and rock is there to catch you and the car out at any moment possible. But of course, if you're looking at every little detail, then it's obviously not going to be perfect but you'll be having too much fun through the stage to be really caring about any of that, unless you're a die-hard rallying fan. Switching over to career mode now, career mode has not changed much since WRC 6, but why does it? You start your journey at WRC Juniors in a Ford Fiesta, making your way up to WRC 2, and then finally the big daddy of WRC. But you'll only make it up to WRC if you fulfill your team's expectations of you. And to me, the way they have structured the game for career mode, they don't really have to change much. It's a solid career mode and not much really needs to be changed. One thing to talk about is the handling module in the game. Now this is no arcade game at all. This is a full sim game built for racers. From the last game, the wheel from the cockpit view had a little bit uncomfortable for me when using my racing wheel on it. But in this game, they have improved that to respond and flow a lot better than it ever has before. The next thing that um, they have fixed is the cutting system. In WRC, your co-driver will give you a, a pace note, for example, 5 right, don't cut, or 5 right, cut. Now in WRC 6, you could get a time penalty for cutting the corner slightly when your co-driver tells you to. But thankfully, in WRC 7, they have fixed that issue, which allows players to flow more throughout the stage. Speaking of stages, there are over 50 stages for you to compete on, with every stage being different in each way. Travelling to Australia and working your way in the outback to sludge and wet in Wales, United Kingdom. So many countries to visit with interesting, difficult stages to keep you on your edge of your seat and listening out for those all important pace notes from your co-drivers so you never miss a turn. Now one thing that you have probably noticed from this video is that I am very positive and rarely negative about this game. Reason being, there isn't much to criticise about this game. It has been made really well, I would give this game a solid 8 out of 10 rating. They could improve a bit on the career mode to change things up, but it works for me and I really enjoy the game myself, and if you pick the game up too, I think you would as well. WRC 7 is as pure on the dirt as you'll ever get in any game. Sure, some people will say dirt do a better job, but until you try the WRC games, not too sure that your point really is valid until you try these games out. I hope you enjoyed this video on my impressions and thoughts on WRC 7. Want to see another video like this? Why not leave a comment on which game you wish me to review next? I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is BTD, and thanks for watching. Peace.